I'm Joanna from Modern Teaching Aids and I'd like to show you today one of my favourite activities from the Lego Education Spike Prime Set. It's a very simple, quick lesson, a lot of fun, engaging, but one of the good things is that it shows how important it is to work as a team, which is probably pretty relevant in today's world right now for us. So it's called Pass the Brick and I've actually pre-made a model up and I'm going to explain the challenge to you and hopefully you might be able to participate in your own way. So this is a really good lesson for anything from year four up and it can be done on your own. You can use it, you can work together in a pair, which is what you should be doing when you're using Lego sets. Um, you can do it in a group situation and a whole class. Um, so what I'd like to just show you is, as I said to you, this is a pre-made model and I've already downloaded a program and that has been downloaded from obviously using the Spike app that can be downloaded from for free from the Lego Education site. Um, it's made up of minimal Lego, so obviously it includes the hub, which I have on here. It has a motor and it has the Lego elements, um, which as you can see are very colourful, which is one of the really good um, features of the new Spike set. Um, so it makes it rather appealing to girls as well as boys. And there are some new Lego parts that are quite unique and we've got some new frames, you can see these purple frames. So altogether it takes about 24 Lego elements, including the hub and the motor. So the idea of this is that we're going to pass the brick, exactly that. But what I'm going to do is give you just an extra challenge because what I'd like you to do is see if you can build a tower and how, how high you can build your tower. And it would be great if you could send in a photo and we could see who actually has the tallest tower. So I've downloaded this so that when I press the button I should be able to pick up a brick and I can either pass it on to a person behind me or in front of me and they can pass it on to the next person, the next person who then has to build the tower or I can try and build my own. So I've had a few goes at it, sometimes I'm quite successful at building quite a high tower and sometimes not so successful. So let's see how I go now and then you'll get the idea and, and then we can um, go on and I can show you the actual software and how you use it and then I can leave you to it and you can have a go. So what I'm going to do is close the grasp on it so that um, I run the program and pick up the yellow brick and what I'm going to try and do is place it on the blue one. There you go. And then once I get to this blue brick, I'm going to try and close it now and replace it. And okay, so now I'm going to try and pick up the green one successfully and see if I can place that on top of the blue. And oh, I've got four there, so now I'm going to have a go with the red and see if I have any luck with the red. Although my tower is looking a bit crooked, let's see how I go. And I've got the red. So I have five five bricks there, but I'm sure that um, you might be able to see if you can get a much taller tower than me, and that's our challenge to you. So have a go at it, it takes five minutes to build, um, the lesson itself can be about half an hour and it's great to introduce to a whole class if you just want a quick fun activity to get up and going and see how easy it is to build and code with the new Lego Education Spike set. I'm going to show you the software now and then after that I'm going to leave you on your own to have a go in the classroom or at home and we'd love to see your pics. So thank you. So now we have the software open on the home page and what I would like you to do for our Pass the Brick activity is to go to the start next to home and once you're in start I'd like you to go down to extra resources and select extra resources. Extra resources is where there are a, quite a number of simple and fun lessons that you can actually use. And the first one is Pass the Brick. And underneath that, it says working as a team. And how well do you work as a team? Which, as I said to you before, is very topical now. And I think this is why it's one of the reasons this is a great activity to um, have in your classroom. So it has the instructions for building the hand included in the um, lesson. So all we need to do now is to click on Start. And um, the first one that we come to on the right hand side is the actual tutorial that is offered in ways of video and demonstration. So the first one is actually a quick uh, video about teamwork challenges and are you part of a team and talking about teams and 
Um, does your team have a leader? What does your leader do? So I think that um, as a teacher, you could have some good discussions on that. But let's go through. So you've got eight steps involved here. And it actually gives you the instructions to build the hand, which they expect you can do in five minutes. And then it will go on and give you a sample program. Now, this sample program is actually missing one block. And it does mean that it will need to be completed by the students. And they can either go on to the next step and get a hint and probably the answer, um, or they can just try and work it out themselves. But on the left-hand side of the screen are the blocks that are actually necessary and needed for this program now. So they're only going to use those. They, there is an option down the bottom to, however, show all the blocks that are available in the program if you've got some that want to do a bit of extension. So the idea is to work through there, and you can actually look at a video of it. There's another little challenge of moving six bricks in two minutes. And then there's one about stacking the bricks and as many as you can in three minutes. So what I would like to see is possibly see how, how high you can get your tower and take a photo of it. Look, I don't mind how long it takes, but if you want to use three minutes, then that's fine. But <clears throat> I'd love to have your pictures. Please send us a photo and good luck. And I'm going to leave you all up to it right now. And, and hopefully that you'll enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you.